Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, we are going to compare fractions that have different denominators. When we compare fractions, and if they have different denominators, we're going to need to go back and we're going to need to use the equal fractions property. So very, very quickly here, I'm going to review the equal fractions property so that we can use it. The equal fractions property says that if the numerator and the denominator of a fraction are multiplied or could be divided by the same non-zero number, then the resulting fraction is equivalent to the original fraction. Now, all that means is that if I want to rewrite two-thirds as a different fraction but not change its value, all I need to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So for example, if I take the fraction 2 thirds and I multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So here I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. I would re end up with 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 2 is 6. So I would end up with 4 6. 4 6 is the exact same amount as 2 thirds. They're exactly the same. They're different fractions, but they're worth the same amount. And that's because I kept it equal. I multiplied them by the same number. And think about what 2 divided by 2 is. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So basically, we multiply 2 thirds times 1, which as we know will give us the same fraction, 2 thirds. So I could repeat this process a million times and end up with a million different fractions that are all exactly the same size, worth the same amount. Okay, so we're going to use this property as we compare fractions. So for example, number one on the website, the question is, is 3 eighths equal to 8 24ths? And if it's not, which one is greater? So here we are given two fractions and we need to compare them. But the problem is, is that we cannot compare any fractions unless the denominators are the same. So that is the very first rule that you want to remember. And you can jot this down if you want to. In order to compare fractions, you must always make sure that the fractions have the same denominator. If that denominator is not the same, we can't compare. So in this particular example, my denominators are not the same. So I can't just look at these and tell you if they are the same or not. I need to re rewrite them using the property that we just talked about so that they have the same denominator. So the first thing I do is I look at my denominators and I look at the larger one and I ask myself, can 8 go into 24 evenly? And the answer is yes. And if your answer is yes, then you can use that larger denominator. So I'm going to rewrite both of my fractions so that they have a denominator of 24. Now, I don't need to rewrite this one because it already has a denominator of 24. And that's why I chose that denominator because this one will stay the same. However, 3 eighths I need to rewrite as a fraction that has a denominator of 24 so that I can compare them. So off to the side, I'm going to rewrite 3 eighths so that it equals a fraction that has a denominator of 24. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of a number that I can multiply 8 by to get 24. So I know that 8 times 3 is equal to 24. That'll give me 24 in the denominator. And the rule is I can keep 3 eighths exactly the same as long as I multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So if I multiply the denominator by 3 to get 24, I'm going to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 eighths is exactly the same as 9 24ths. 
they're just written as two different fractions. So now I have 9 24 instead of 3 8 and now my fractions have the same denominator. And if the denominators are the same, then all I need to do is compare the numerators to determine which one is greater. So 9 24 is actually greater than 8 24 because 9 is greater than 8. So no, these are not equal fractions and 3 8 is greater than 8 24 and I know that because 9 24 which is the same as 3 8 is greater than 8 24 okay so that concludes example number one and the one thing that you have to remember again is that in order to compare fractions the numerator and the denominator I'm sorry the denominators must be the same of both fractions that's the first step in comparing fractions. Okay, so that concludes example number one.